today I'm going to show you guys some new accessories I got from my art studio. It's nothing much but just enough to give my art studio a new makeover. It's a studio makeover update because yeah I just recently uh, gave my studio a makeover like just three days ago. <laughs> yeah like when I saw this in the store I was like bro you're making aesthetic videos so we need to throw out the old and buy some more aesthetic looking stuff. I don't see a lot of guys make these kind of videos so hey I'm one of the rare ones. Most of these aesthetic accessories are for girls but I did manage to find some neutral things like the child BB Yoda over here who doesn't like BB Yoda. I love BB Yoda. also bought these mini sorry micro clothespins that are super delicate i just gave this one a soft squeeze and yeah it just broke i put it back together but sadly it broke again i'm still gonna use them but i just need to remind myself that i should handle it with care like the complete opposite of how your luggage is treated at the airport luckily i found pastel colored looking clips these are much sturdier Okay, now you might be actually wondering why I bought these. Well, I'll tell you. It's to keep the paper flat on the table. Like, I have my fan blowing from the side, so I need some weight on the paper. Alright, next thing on the list is decorative tape. You can't be painting without this. Well, actually, you can paint without it, unless you want to do some masking stuff. I'm gonna show you how I use it in a second. Anyway, we don't use this kind of tape anymore. We all grew this one. This one's for beginners. Okay, like promise, I'm going to show you a little example of how I use the masking tape. We mask out the area around the paint area so we get nice clean lines. Also, this tape isn't as sticky as the normal masking tape. So now my paper won't rip or leave sticky residue behind. The next thing that I got is this sick container that basically all artists already have. Next to the small container, I also bought a bigger one to put all my old comics and magazines and also my old drawings in. For you guys who don't know which blade, it's about a girl who got cursed with his bracelet and when it activates, she turns into some kind of superhuman. Anyway, I also got these old Pokemon magazines. I don't want to throw them away because they got some cool posters in there and um, I don't have a place to put them yet so I'm gonna keep them in the magazine. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you I'm super proud of. That's my Pokemon sticker collection. These are so old that I'm not even sure they'll stick anymore. So I'll just keep them here in the packaging. I also got these random Dragon Ball stickers in between. You know, I'm also a Dragon Ball fan. But the majority consists of Pokemon. Now I'm gonna show you a sticker collection that's 15 years old. That's this sticker collection that I made by myself. It's from Chewing Gums. And also from a lollipop called Chupa Chup. And I'm super, super, super proud of this collection. Here's an old sketchbook of mine with some old drawings. Back in the days, I did a lot of portrait drawings for random fans. <laughs> I'm not even sure if these people still follow me or not. But I have them all posted on my Instagram art page. Although you need to scroll all the way down in order to see them. <laughs> if you want to see me do a review of all my old art, just let me know in the comments. Anyway, let's put all this old treasure somewhere safe and redo our desk makeover. I'm not the 
best artist, but I also want to say that I'm not putting my best effort to become better at a craft. I'm more of an art enthusiast, like I see art more as a hobby than as a profession. You know, something I like to do to feel relaxed or when I'm bored. <laughs> I like the spot of the smiley on top of the palm tree. It looks like a sun. Anyway, this is my desk. It's really small and nothing fancy.